Anna Williams, you've just started at the University of Huddersfield. Yes, that's right. Um, you're a forensic anthropologist. I am. Um, just tell us a, a little bit about your research, uh, where you've been working uh, recently in the past, uh, okay. you know, perhaps where you're hoping to go with it. Um, well, one of my main areas of interest within the area of forensic anthropology is the study of decomposition and taphonomy. So how a body decomposes um, after death and how it interacts with its, potentially its burial environment or um, the rest of its surroundings, um, with particular reference to post-mortem interval estimation, uh, post-burial interval estimation, um, and ultimately the identification of unknown remains. One of the areas that I've been uh, researching into in particular is uh, the the gaseous products of decomposition. I have a PhD student um, looking at this at the moment and she wants to um, identify and quantify those gases given off by, uh, by a cadaver uh, with, as a function of time to see if we can um, use them for post-mortem interval estimation but also if we can um, compare them to the performance and the efficiency of dogs that have been trained to uh, find human remains after death. And much of the uh, research that, that you do, we, we see the television uh, programmes, they're mm -hmm. there in abundance, uh, but that in effect is, is uh, what you're doing, but in real life you're uh, working to help the police with, uh, with their inquiries uh, if they're either perhaps looking for a body or or indeed if they find one. The work of a forensic anthropologist is um, similar or um, allied to that of a forensic pathologist um, but usually an anthropologist gets involved if the remains are damaged or compromised in some way, badly decomposed or skeletonized or fragmented and then you need the, the skills of a forensic anthropologist um, who's trained in osteology to um, look at the bones and, and try and glean as much information as you can from the bones. You're quite new here at Huddersfield. Yeah. Um, what areas of, of research then you, uh, are you hoping to move into? Well as an anthropologist, um, I'm coming into a department that doesn't have any anthropology uh, existing, so I'm really feeling that I can um, complement the existing skills here. We have um, very well established uh, forensic biology and forensic entomology here and anthropology fits very well with that and together we want to uh, uh, continue our decomposition research, we want to um, create a decomposition facility much, uh, much in the way that I did at my previous university um, but expand it and um, uh, make it more sophisticated. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.